graph of sec x y equal to you can say secant x right now we are not supposed to learn how to draw a graph of this we are supposed to understand the graph of this and for that we should know the basic properties of sec x or maybe you can remember the graph of this and from graph we can remember the basic properties graph of sec x you know sec x is reciprocal of cos x and you know cos x is cos x lies between minus 1 and 1 so the reciprocal lies between or we can say sec x the range is it lies outside minus 1 and 1 if cos x lies between minus 1 and 1 its reciprocal will be outside minus 1 and 1 right and the pattern of it's a periodic function if cos x the period of cos x is 2 pi period of 1 by cos x is also 2 pi because if cos x if denominator repeats after 2 pi the ratio has would have to repeat after 2 pi so period is 2 pi if you just try to draw the principal cycle that's the, the unique part of the graph after which the graph repeats itself you just try to draw this this is the pattern of the x making four quadrants here in first quadrant 0 to pi by 2 it increases from 1 to infinity at pi by 2 it rises it as, as we reach pi by 2 that is on just on left of pi by 2 the graph approaches to infinitely large value at pi by 2 it is not defined at pi by 2 cos x is 0 and 1 by 0 is not defined now it starts again from just right of pi by 2 and from in minus infinity right it decreases to minus 1 like this and again it reaches to minus infinity at 3 pi by 2 and then on just right of 3 pi by 2 it comes down from infinity till 1 you see cos is like cos x like x is positive in first quadrant this is first quadrant it is negative in second quadrant negative in third quadrant positive in fourth quadrant and you can see from the graph that it lies outside minus 1 and 1 so you don't have to learn how to draw a graph of this you should understand this graph how it goes in first quadrant how it goes in second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant and you remember this principal cycle now if you want to draw more graph you can just repeat this principal cycle in other intervals right towards left or towards right it depends on the interval you want to draw graph right same as the graph of cos x you need to remember like this is cos x between 0 and 2 pi let's let's draw between 0 and 2 pi so we'll make four parts of it to take four quadrants in first quadrant you know cosec x is reciprocal of sin x you know at x equal to 0 sin x is 0 so cosec x is not defined at x equal to 0 and then around 0 it approaches to infinity large value it starts from here at 0 is not defined so no point no point in graph at x equal to 0 but just right of 0 and sin, sin x is infinitely small positive value this ratio is infinitely large so it comes down like this it reaches at 1 which is the min which is like the it cannot go down 1 this is the pattern of cosec x in first two quadrant first quadrant second quadrant and you can know like sin x cosec x is positive in first quadrant as well as positive in second quadrant now after pi pi is again not defined because sin pi is 0 and 1 by 0 is not defined starts it becomes negative in third quadrant decreases from minus infinity attains a minimum value at minus minus value minimum value of minus one at three pi by two and I take takes a turn back and again approaches to minus infinity. So that that this pattern you need to remember. Graph in first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant and it lies outside minus one and one period of cos x is two pi like sin x and if you want to discuss domain domain is 
the values of x for which y can take real values and from graph you can see the domain is uh, 0 to 2 pi but excluding 0 where it is not defined pi not defined and 2 pi not defined so domain if you have to write domain x belongs to r excluding these values x belongs to sorry x belongs to r you can say right x belongs to r excluding 0 pi 2 pi and again on second cycle 3 pi 4 pi so excluding n pi right range is outside minus 1 and 1 and this break this continuity is break it is it has breaks at 0 pi and 2 pi right so this continuity at 0 where there is a break in the graph pi again there is a break in the graph if you draw graph you have to lift pen at 0 pi and 2 pi so these points are qualified as breaks so we can set discontinuities in the graph